Hi, my name is Gavin, and I was working with Tanner on making a automated coffee roaster. Um, as you can see here, we used a electric popcorn popper. Here's the chamber of the popper. Um, the beginning of the process starts with green coffee beans. We add them into the chamber here. We then place the lid on top of the chamber. We add in a thermocouple, like that. Coming out the back of the popper, we have several cables. This cable here and this cable here are used to control the fan speed, whereas this cable here and this cable here go to a solid state relay which I will talk about in a minute. So in order to control the fan speed, we use a DC power supply. Uh, this is set to 15 volts with a current limit of about one amp. If we come over on this side, these two cables here are connected inside the popper to a heat coil. Uh, the heat coil is toggled on and off using the solid state relay. In order to trigger the relay, we use a f the 5 volt port on the Raspberry Pi, which is then triggered by a GPIO pin. The GPIO pin sends a signal to an NPN transistor right there, and that transistor sends a signal to the solid state relay, which allows the five volt signal uh, to flow through the relay, activating it. The overall concept of how this uh, roaster works is we have the thermocouple probe inside the roasting chamber, which reads the temperature of the beans. We then use the Raspberry Pi to set a desired temperature and when the temperature of the beans is lower than that desired temperature, we send an output signal to a GPIO pin, which then triggers the solid state relay, which uh, in return turns on the heat coil inside the popper. Um, the reverse of that is also true. So when the bean temperature rises above our desired temperature, we stop outputting a signal from the GPIO pin and we stop the signal going through the solid state relay, which cuts power to the heat coil. Um, the DC fan runs the entire time in order to keep the coffee beans agitated and prevent them from burning. Lastly, we used a VNC uh, in order to run the Raspberry Pi off of a laptop so we don't have to plug that into a monitor and keyboard every time we want to run this. Um, I'm now going to hand it over to Tanner, and he's going to tell you a little bit about the software. So as far as data collection is concerned, uh, we've created the following code in order to read thermocouple data and in turn turn a heat coil on and off according to the temperature of the thermocouple that keeps the coffee beans at a specific temperature. We've created this roast time variable where you can input a certain amount of time that you want the coffee beans to be roasted. A thermodata class that reads data into arrays uploads the data to a file and plots the data so it can be concisely read. And in addition to this, we've created code that turns a heat coil on and off depending on the temperature data read through the thermocouple. And we've created data that uh, created code that appends an array in order to read all of the thermocouple data. Here are two sample graphs that have been created via the output of our code. The red curve represents the actual temperature of the beans read by the thermocouple, and the green line indicates the desired temperature. You can see where the roaster has been turned on and off using our code to, in order to maintain a consistent temperature. I will now play a short clip of the roaster in action so you can see how the process works.
That concludes the overview of our project. Thank you guys for watching and good luck on finals.